Hare Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam is a natural commentary on uh, Vedanta Sutras. Actually, Vyasa, he wrote all the Vedic literatures, including Mahabharata, uh, the Puranas, and also the Vedanta Sutras. But he is not satisfied. So, if the author himself is not satisfied after writing all the literatures, uh, then how can we be satisfied by reading those literatures? It was actually Narada who told Vyasa that, My dear Vyasa, you write one book which is completely filled with the pastimes of Krishna. And in that book, not only just every verse, every word, every alphabet should be filled with Krishna Prema. It is actually Krishna Prema which satisfies the soul. So, you write one book which is filled with Krishna Prema, by studying which one gets Krishna Prema, by hearing which one gets Krishna Prema. Isyam vai shre manayam krishne param purushe bhakti rutpyate purusha shoka moha bhayapaha. Bhakti rutpyate, prema manifests just by hearing Bhagavatam. And that is that prema which actually satisfies the soul. Vyasa wrote the entire Srimad Bhagavatam uh, based on the instructions of Narada so that everybody can be satisfied. Srila Prabhupada knew this very well. That is why when he went to the West, he took the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, which is translated and purported by him. And he had so much of confidence. When he saw people in the West, especially in America, they are completely filled with rajas and tamas, suffering like anything. Srila Prabhupada had faith, O oh Lord, if somehow or other they hear the verses of Bhagavatam, if they hear Krishna Katha, Shrinatam, Sukata Krishna, Punya Shravana Kirtana, Radanta Sto, Abhadrani, Vidunoti, Surutsatam. O Krishna being in everybody's heart, especially the heart of the devotees, you are going to remove all their sufferings, all the misgivings in the heart, and you will make them really happy. So Srila Prabhupada had this faith. And this faith which Srila Prabhupada had on Srila Bhagavatam actually manifested his skan. So if really somebody wants to be in his skan, and actually a follower of his skan, one has to relish Srimad Bhagavatam. One has to imbibe that faith that by studying Srimad Bhagavatam, I will become happy. And not only I will become happy, I can give happiness to the entire world. So we have this ISKCON Bhagavat Mahavidyalaya being opened for this very purpose, where devotees around the world can come and stay and study Srimad Bhagavatam and relish Srimad Bhagavatam and go to the respective places around the world and give the same relish what they are experiencing by studying Srimad Bhagavatam to the entire world. So Iskan Bhagavad Dhyalaya is a very great uh, uh, venture, it's a very great uh, endeavor by the devotees who are managing it. I sincerely pray to them that they will be expanding this to many parts of the world. Hare Krishna.